Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be do, looking at the uh, lightning pin adapter for the iPhone 5 and the iPod 5th generation and the Nano 7th generation. Um, what this does is it converts a 30 point pin connector into a lightning adapter. Now, keep in mind guys, I gave like two, three dollars for these on uh, Amazon and I'll have the links below if you think you can use these um, I'll, I'll give you some of the details and things that I found out since I've been using it as you can see right now it does charge the iPhone you can see up there in the corner and it does sync up with iTunes everything works just like it's supposed to now there is a little bit of a problem. You can see what I've done here. I've gone from a 30 point pin connector to a lightning connector just like this. And then when you plug it back in you heard the phone beep and you can see on the screen there it popped open with iTunes um, it works to a certain extent if you put it on a iHome or something like the the kicker amphitheater there it, it doesn't push any sound through here however I have been able to transfer video through this from from my phone to the to the Mac but I haven't been able to get it to play music and let me show you what I'm talking about on that all right guys we're back now at the iHome and I'm going to show you what I mean um, I've got the remote control here for the iHome this is the ID50 and it's got a Bluetooth. Uh, I did a full review on it if you want to check it out. Anyway, you just hit the power button right here to turn it on. And you can see with the 30 point pin connector, everything's working. You see I'm flipping through the music. And you can see I can turn the volume up. Down. Okay, now going over to the 30 point pin to the lightning connector we're going to use this adapter here and this was supposed to be a generic form of the Apple connector I didn't get this at Apple I'll have the links below if you want to check them out this one here is like three or four dollars and I got another one that was only like a buck so you heard that the iHome does work now when we sit the iPhone 5 on it we should get the same result okay you heard it click and you can see that it is charging up there in the corner but when we hit the power button okay the iPod comes up but it doesn't play there's no music you see the volumes working everything on the iPod on the iHome is still working it's just not playing through the now let's go in here and turn it on directly and you can see okay you can see it, it won't play it will charge and you clock everything works it just you got no sound which sucks is this the case for the Apple version I don't know I haven't tested it out yet I'll let you know when I get it in but for right now I'll have the links below if you want to use this just for charging and the purposes that I've showed you in this video you can save some money however if you want to listen to your music through your iHome it doesn't work don't forget guys if you're not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button and keep coming back